today we are here to show you how to change your motor and reducer from a vertical mount to a horizontal mount. We're removing the four bolts that hold the motor in place to remove the motor and set off to the side for ease of handling. You could leave the motor on there if you are, don't have it hooked up to conduit and things, um, but, but it's easier to handle without it. The motor just simply slips out of the reducer. Then remove the shaft guard. It's just easier to have that removed, it's out of your way. Keep track of the parts again, there's some spacers and things there that need to be back in there when we reinstall. There's four set screws on the shaft that need to be loosened with a long Allen wrench. Once those are loose, we can remove the quarter 20 shoulder bolt that's holding the torque arm in place. Again, there are some small parts with this, washers and such, so keep track of those parts. Once you have the shoulder bolt removed, you just simply turn the reducer and slide it off the shaft. Remove the torque arm. The torque arm consists of two parts, an L-shaped part and a straight part. We'll want to unbolt the L-shaped part from the straight part and rotate the L portion 90 degrees. Kind of look at your orientation, know what you want to do, then figure out where the torque arm should be mounted, and we can reassemble the torque arm onto the reducer. The torque arm has slots in it to accommodate different size reducers. So when we tighten these up, we just got to line it up so it's center line with the shaft. One other note here is always make sure that the reducer is mounted with the input shaft above the output shaft. Uh, they do not like the oil to be flooded over the input seal. Line the keyway up, slide it over the shaft, and realign your torque arm, and install your quarter 20 shoulder bolt. All you want to do here is tighten that down until it hits the nut hits the shoulder of the bolt. So it can't be over tightened. Tighten it 
tighten your four set screws. Everything should be in line now. We have it tightened to the torque arm. Everything's in line, so just have to tighten that down to the shaft. Now it's time to install the motor. What he did there was he rotated the keyway down on the reducer and re rotate the motor shaft as well a little bit. Just makes it easier to install. Now place your four bolts in and tighten. Now all we have to do is install the guard, the shaft guard. Take your parts that you previously disassembled and reassemble. And that will complete your reinstallation of the motor reducer in the horizontal position.